Okay, welcome to Sam Hughes Elementary. Here is the front of the building. And now we're going to go inside. Okay, this is the foyer. And one of these walls here, I assume right here, is where the picture of Sam Hughes hung. It was original drawing that was done in uh, 1915 or 1917. And we're going to look at that in a little bit. But this wall, these stairs here, go up to the bell tower. And then we're going to actually walk out to the courtyard here. Okay, this is the courtyard. This is the school as it appeared when it was originally built. It was founded in 1927. These trees were planted when it was founded. And you can see how it just uh, wraps around. The part right there is actually the library. That was built in the 1940s. That was the only opening to the courtyard. And this is the courtyard. Now I'm going to go show you some of the woodworking around here. Okay, this is from inside the hallway here. I don't know if you can see very well the wood there. But this wood, is the, the, all of this is original. Nothing in here has been changed. And this is the original tile that was put in back in 1927. Pretty incredible. And then, here on these walls, I don't know if you can see that line there, but that line they filled that in back in the 40s. It used to be a partition, a window uh, type thing like we have in the church buildings that open and close. So on good days when the weather was nice, they'd open up those partitions. And of course on bad days they'd close the partition. And the bell tower over there, that second story. The second story right there used to be the library. That was what it was when uh, it was founded in 1927 in the bell tower. There's a bunch of goodies that we're going to see if we can't get. There's some more of that wood. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, I don't know how good this is going to come out, but this was the picture that was in the foyer when it was founded in 1927. It was donated by the family. It's still the original frame. Let's see if I can close in here so you can see it any better. There's Sam Hughes. I don't know if you can see the frame very well, but that's the original frame. And I have convinced the principal to hang this back up in the foyer. I told her if she wasn't going to hang it, but the family wanted it back. So she was very happy to hang it for us. Okay, this is a photo album that was put together by a gentleman here named Jim Teagues. He's worked here for 33 years and he's just been saving stuff. Here's a picture of Sam Hughes. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in on that. Families of the Old, Old Pueblo. And these pages here, a brief history that a woman back in the 50s put together. And I'm going to get copies of those. This, I don't know how well we can focus in on that. The Sam Hughes home was an elegant townhouse of 1880s. Just kind of part of the house. Here's another piece. Let's see if we can. That Sam Hughes among Tucson's first health seeking pioneers. This picture here is a picture of Sam Hughes in front of the home. It says late Senator High Corbett. Oh, I guess that's High Corbett in front of the Sam Hughes house, now a historical site. So that's High Corbett in front of the house. This 
is Adonasha with some of the school kids. And there's a picture of the quilt that is now in the Arizona Historical Museum. And we're actually going to get to see that. And uh, we'll record the original. Drums, bugles, called to Adonasha. Elizabeth Adonasha and Sam Hughes' daughter. Focusing on Adonasha here, too. There's Adonasha. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This, oops, sorry. Pioneer Women at Center of Changing Tucson. And the picture is of Hiram Stevens. Petra Santa Cruz, Sam Hughes, and Adonasha Santa Cruz. Let's see if we can focus in on that a little more. Here's another interesting article. Sam Hughes, school founder, never went to school. We're actually going to get copies of all these too, so I'm just going to putting them on tape here for now.